Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where today I got a fun little video for you guys. So I'm sitting around here getting things packed for our honeymoon, and I thought, you know what, why not make a video out of it? Because for the next couple weeks, Wayne Sharp Week is going to have to take a backseat. So I thought, you know what, why not make a Wayne Sharp Honeymoon, highlighting the knives I'm bringing with me on my honeymoon. I'm going to be gone for a couple weeks, so I had to bring a couple weeks worth of knives. So why not show them to you guys? thought it'd be pretty fun. So, uh... We're going to do that. Before I do that, though, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. If you like what you see, please do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button, follow along, and I will continue to bring you the content. Now, let's get to the blades. We're going to start right off here with none other than the CJRB Rhea. So we're going to be uh, having some, you know, a few nice little dinner dates and whatnot. So I thought I'd like to bring a classier knife with me. Um, a classier but budget knife. Um, I, I do have some more, a couple premium knives I'm bringing with me. But uh, I like to keep more budget knives with me when I'm traveling, just because you never know airlines and all sorts of things and going to be hiking and, and, you know, doing all sorts of stuff to her. I would just, I'd hate to lose one. A lot of stuff out of the norm to her. Wouldn't want to lose one. So I figure uh, I like to pack a little more on the budget side. So the Rhea is a great option for a uh, budget carry and also a classy carry. It's got that great action. I think everybody or a lot of people know it and love it. Uh, got these nice wood scales from Knife Center that I really like a lot in this milled clip. It's a great, great, great version of this knife. I don't know if they're still in stock. I don't know if they're out of stock, if Knife Center is going to be restocking them. But regardless, um, the Rhea in general is a fantastic knife. If you like, if you like a little smaller blade with killer action and a really affordable price, look no further than the CJRB Rhea. Really, really is a fantastic option and uh that's knife number one on the honeymoon carry what else do we have here next up we have the cjrb centros now i carry i'm bringing this for a couple reasons um one because it's an awesome knife and two to tell you guys about the designer of this knife dylan mallory if you're not following him on instagram if i'm sure a lot of you or most of you probably know about him but he has his own knife coming up that he's having a production run made of so Definitely look that up and support him if you can. Pick one up because it's going to be a really, really, really sweet knife. Um, it's going to be more on the premium side. Um, he's been posting pictures of it on Instagram. So if you don't follow him, follow him on Instagram. I believe it's Mallory Designs. Um, really, really great dude. Awesome designer. Going to be a great knife. So check that out. Um, and this knife here is a, a good example of just what he's capable of. This is an exclusive with the Micarta Scales. But the action is just fantastic. Almost feels assisted. The knife flies out so easy. Um, got a nice long blade and ergos that are just great. Really great ergos. And uh, Dylan is Dylan is just a very talented designer. So I'm looking forward to that production run of his uh, his first own production knife. And uh, this is just a this is a great one too. This is obviously from CJRB. So uh, this other one is going to be a, a step up and a little bit more premium. So take a look at, take a look at that. And uh, yeah, this is going to be a good one. That is the CJRB Centros. Next up, I've got this knife here. The Civivi Brazen Drop Point Style. And uh, I know you guys know that I love this knife, but th this is how much I like this knife. I'm constantly going back and forth on whether or not it's my favorite Civivi. I'm not sure. But uh, I like it enough that I actually gave each one of my groomsmen one of these for the wedding. Because, yeah, I, I did go with a budget knife because weddings are super expensive. And, uh, yeah, you only have so much money for gifts, right? So I thought I'd get the most uh, bang for my buck. Uh, everyone got... Uh, personalized golf balls and it's a vv brazen so not a bad little gift but uh i just love this knife i got it. it's it it's just perfect size perfect blade um i mean perfect is you know perfect is very general term on this channel as you guys probably know um but it's just an excellent knife love the ergos uh love that 14c 28n steel where is it where's the little microscopic marking eh can't see it right now but regardless it's 14c 28 in steel um feels great in the hand good jimping and i it, i mean what else can you say about cvv good action good quality good this good that because everything's good about a cvv there's very few things about a cvv that's not good 
Um, that's why you see them in my pockets from time to time. And the Brazen is no exception. It is definitely one of the best in my personal opinion. So that will also be going with me on the honeymoon. And I will also be carrying this guy here. This is the Blade HQ exclusive. Um, this is a relatively pretty new knife, actually. Um, the Real Steel G5 Metamorph Tonto style with 14C28 in steel. And it's just a regular flipper instead of a front flipper. And the action on this is just really, really good. I said it before, it kind of reminds me, the feel is kind of like a honey badger. It just really shoots out. And man, I love, love, love that long, slender Tanto blade and the nice, very nice handle on it that's G10 and not that slippery aluminum. Just a really cool collaboration with uh, Blade HQ and Real Steel. So really, really like this one a lot. It's 40 bucks, guys. 40 bucks at Blade HQ. Um, for 40 bucks, it is a fantastic knife. Home run for 40 bucks, as a matter of fact. I don't know if they're still in stock. You'll have to hop over there and take a look. Last I saw they were, but I haven't checked them for quite a while, so I don't know. But definitely a good one. If they're out of stock so quick, they'll probably be bringing them back. But yeah, if you want to splurge on a on a really nice knife for uh, for just 40 bucks, look no further than this guy right here. The G5 Metamorph Tonto, exclusive to Blade HQ from Real Steel. And next up, we got the last budget knife of the group, and that is the CRKT Pilar 3. Yes, for Vox Nest Design, CRKT, CRKT build, and uh, I've got to say, I said it during my review, this is easily one of the best CRKT, C why can't I say that tonight, CRKTs um, that's ever been produced, in my opinion. Um, running on bearings, very, very good smooth action. Blade centering is on point. And it's, I mean, it's Vox, guys. It's its its got those Vox ergos that just melt in your hand. And uh, excellent budget knife to bring with me because it's a great knife to use, abuse, not worry about. CRKT puts a remarkably sharp edge on their knives. There's some things that I can knock CRKT for, but dull edges are not one of them. They're not necessarily the thinnest, but they are pretty stupid sharp. I've got to say, I've I've never pulled a CKRT out of CRKT out of a box. I'm going to give up trying to say that. I'm just going to refer to this as the knife for the rest of this time I'm talking about this. Um, but the knife has a super sharp edge, and they just do a really good job of it. And uh, it's got uh, it's got everything you need for a little knife. Uh, by the three inch cutting edge, I think maybe a little less. I think three inch blade. Uh, three point, a little more than that. I don't really know the exact specs on it right now. Don't have it in front of me, but I know that I really like this knife, and uh, I like pretty much everything about the Esper Voxness design. This is no exception. So it's going along the CRKT. I said it again, but I said it right. Pilar 3. There you go. Now, these last three knives are going to be more on the premium side, um, and especially the Quiet Carry Waypoint. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing a good amount of hiking on the on this honeymoon and uh, going to be in some pretty cool places. Follow me on Instagram. I'll, I'll post a few pictures from time to time. Um, but definitely want something that's very corrosion resistant when I'm sweating. When, when I'm sweating. Yeah, when I am sweating. Because if I'm hiking, I'm sweating, guys. I am a sweater. Um, so always, always, always got to have something with good corrosion resistant resistance for me there. And uh, this one always does the trick. Still has that incredible action it had right out of the box from the day I got it over a year ago now. Um, fantastic action. Running on washers. I mean, the action on washers is just killer. One of the best knives you can get on washers when it comes to action. Uh, really slicey blade. Very slim, light, just unobtrusive carry. Everything about this knife is excellent. It's definitely one of my favorite knives of all time. And uh, Quiet Carry in general is just a pretty darn amazing brand. So always love this knife. Always bring it with me when I'm going to be in a situation where I'm going to be exerting myself or sweating. This or the, the, the Spidey Chef. But this just definitely wins over the Spidey Chef because of its size and just how uh, how quiet it carries, you know? And uh, next up, 
we're gonna do the Sharp by Design Void from Brian Nadeau. This is gonna be a good place, a good time to carry this knife when we're going into a place that is a, a little more fancy. We're gonna be, a part of our honeymoon is gonna be in Napa. So gonna go get some nice wine and uh, I feel like this would be a good knife to have in the pocket when sipping on a little finer wine for once. Not quite gonna be doing the, the $6 uh, Meyer special wine, you know? So gotta have a little, uh, little more uh, class in the pocket for that, right? I think so. So we're bringing it. Sharp by Design Void is uh, definitely one of those grill knives for me. Not a huge fan of this aspiration. I, I, I like it. I don't love it. Um, but I do love this knife in general. I love the action. I love the blade. Um, absolutely love middle finger flicking it because it's so smooth. You break that uh, NATO detent oh, and it just gives you the, the best sounding tink you'll ever hear. So good. So, so good. Um, and of course, you can flip it, but I am definitely a middle finger flipper when it comes to this knife all day long. The Brian Nado Sharp by Design Void. And last up, I don't know if I've ever had this on a weekly carry, but it's definitely coming with me on this trip because this honeymoon is absolutely going to be an adventure. So you got to bring the adventure knife, the ZT0640 with my Lynch clip and my Carta scales. I still love this knife and I always will because to me it's it's just it, it's 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 close to one of my perfect knives. I have a lot of images in my head when I think of a perfect knife. This is one of them and it's just so darn good. The action is plenty plenty good. Um it's actually great when you consider that it's on washers and uh, it just flies out. Nice, uh, relatively thick blade with a stout tip. Uh, this knife just screams adventure, so it's gonna go on one. And uh, I think I know exactly what day I'm gonna be carrying this knife. And if you follow me on Instagram, you will find out because uh, we have one really cool event planned that I'm really looking forward to. And I think that this knife is perfect for it. So you will definitely see some pictures of it. And uh, I can't wait to get it going and uh, celebrate a great trip with my new wife. New and only wife. <laughs> only is the key word. There's never anyone before and there will never be anyone else. So looking forward to this a whole lot. Looking forward to putting these blades in the pocket and uh, having some fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you all have a great upcoming week. And don't worry, I did post some content for you guys. I actually posted a crap load of content this weekend that I can upload while I'm gone. So I will do my best to keep you guys entertained. But don't fully rely on me because you will probably be strongly disappointed. Go out there, have fun, do some cool things. And until the next one, I'm out.